I rise this morning to bring to the attention of my colleagues an important event taking place this Friday in the 15th Congressional District of Florida, of which I have the privilege to represent. With the opening of the Florida Center for Cybersecurity on the campus of the University of South Florida, also known as USF, in Tampa this Friday, our state marshals the strength of all the Florida's public universities to respond to our nation's cybersecurity workforce needs. The center will help develop the next generation of technology to prevent cyber attacks and provide a resource for Florida businesses to help them prevent and, if necessary, respond to cyber threats. I want to congratulate the Board of Governors for our state university system, our Florida State Legislature, our Florida Governor, for recognizing the critical importance of the growing cyber threat to Florida residents and business owners throughout the world. These leaders are doing something about that threat by establishing the Florida Center for Cybersecurity. Florida Center for Cybersecurity is located at the University of South Florida and it's very important for all of us. And it's important for us not only as a state, but it's important for us as a nation. It's a conversation we started over two years ago about how there was already an organic cluster of cybersecurity companies in Tampa Bay because of our proximity to the, the Air Force Base. And really it was a unique opportunity for USF to be a leader in combating a threat that's facing our country and our companies and our individual citizens. The Florida Center for Cybersecurity truly will be a game changer uh, for how we as a nation respond to the threat of cybersecurity both in training a workforce, but also in the important research that will be done here in the cybersecurity field. You know, as a member of the Board of Governors, it's been exciting to me to be part of making this thing happen because we got to vote to uh, create the Cybersecurity Center. In a world where cybersecurity attacks are happening every day, whether it's on our personal privacy information, or whether it is attacks that directly affect the national security of the country. Uh, for us to be ready for this, to be able to stop it, and to be able to counter it is absolutely essential. We're uh, looking at adversaries that don't discriminate against private industry, military, or the like. And uh, as our speakers have said here many times, intellectual capital is really the most important component that we have in this equation to fight cyber crime. Cybersecurity is really the Y2K of our time. Everyone is going to have to know something about cybersecurity. Whether you're in private business or you're in the government or whatever the walk of life is, people need to be aware of the risks that we have in the cybersecurity field. And in the six months, we have 100 students that are enrolled in our master's program. We have a $300,000 grant from the National Science Foundation. We've already been named by the federal government, the Florida a Center of Excellence. So it's all great, and we want to keep this initiative growing and to stop cybercrime. So the hope is that with this center, it will create a new center of excellence right here in Florida for us to help you know, not just create economic development locally and give our students a new opportunity, but also help our country. Cybersecurity is, is paramount to our national security. And so USF taking the lead on this is fantastic. And as a proud Bull and alumni myself from 2008, I couldn't be, I couldn't be happier to be here. So we're excited. Uh, the students are ready to join this program. Uh, I'm looking probably perhaps to joining the program because I'm interested in it and I know it's a high in demand. But what will be done here at the University of South Florida at the new Florida Center for Cybersecurity truly will contribute to our national mission to improve our readiness to respond to cybersecurity threats.